Hello and welcome. This video is a continuation of the main storyline for the ocean content and also obtaining our tier 5 ship. So without further ado, let's go ahead and show you the storyline we're talking about. It is over here in the great ocean and it's this one, the end of the ocean, Jersey. Hope I pronounced that right. So when you go into it, we're finally going to accept it. And the reason I didn't do this sooner is I wanted to collect 300 uh, top quality parts uh, right there. 300 top quality parts to get and make the Aferia Caravel ship. So it was like, eh. I went out and fought in the sea below Jura Sea and obtained all of them. And now we're ready to get the storyline going so we can uh, finish it up and get our ship. And as you can see, you also get one of each of the new items for your ship and an invitation to Eventide Island. So we're gonna show you all of that stuff from start to finish in this video. So let's go ahead and go back out and, well, let's accept it. There we go, and here we go. So at this point, uh, there will be timestamps that you can jump to different sections of this video since it is long and it does cover a lot. So if you want to enjoy the storyline with me, then uh, you'll see me just allow you to read it and we'll just take it slow and go through everything. But if you're in a time crunch and you want to hurry up, the timestamps are there for you. So off we go to the next part of this quest. So what I did is uh, I just want to show you real quick that I have the plywood necessary. It was a hundred thousand and I saved up three hundred thousand. So definitely have everything that we need so let's just tap on uh, from Jura Sea and go there and see where it takes us now if it seems like there are sections of this that are uh, long uh, I'm going to uh, speed up the video and just get us there a lot quicker so I don't expect you to uh, watch me kill all the monsters that are required or sail from one end to the other but here's where we're at in Okila's eye uh, we're heading over to uh, I think it's pronounced Margoria Sea and we're heading to Rooted Island as you saw so what we're gonna do now is just fast forward it a bit so we can get there here we go And just like that, we're there. So now let's uh, meet up and have the storyline continue.
So what he wants us to do is go out there and kill or defeat 20 uh, creatures in the Margorian Sea. It doesn't matter what they are. So we're going to point out the easiest ones to kill so we can obtain 20. So just wanted to see where I was at, get a little idea on my bearings. Uh, that was an accident. Uh, I auto pathed. So let's go ahead and uh, get sailing. And let's see. No, we don't need any of that. Let's just open up that. Take a look. Okay, rooted island. So that our plan is to just go out there. I just wanted to verify. Yep, yeah, we're there. Not gonna go into Ross or Arsha and all that good jazz. So as we sail out there, um, I'm gonna point out the violence and then the ones that we're after. But I'm also going to. Uh, fast forward the video so that or not necessarily I'm going to cut it so that uh, you can uh, see me show you what I'm going to be fighting and then the quest will be just about done so you're not going to sit there and uh, watch me kill 20 creatures uh, you know how that works so that is a violent on the map the red star and as we get past it, you see the dots that are up there on the north. Those are the normal ones that we're going to kill. So we're going to go ahead and cut the video and show you that we're just about done. Here we go. So as you can see, we are just about done with this quest. And the storyline will continue. Here, here it is. So we'll just tap on that. So what he wants us to do now is head to the border between between uh, Margoria and Ur C. I, I believe it's pronounced Ur instead of Jur. Uh, Ur C, and fight the violence that are along the border. So now you are fighting the starred creatures. As you can see, I just killed a regular one, and it didn't count. So. We're uh, going to make our way over there and test it out. Yep, heading to the border. Trying not to... Uh, trying not to cross it. <clears throat> and I think uh, we'll just start here. And we'll just attack this guy. Which I'm pretty sure it will count. And uh, please forgive my uh, sailing skills. Uh, sometimes I look pretty cool uh, battling them and other times not. So yes, it does count. So this means that I'm going to be spending time to defeat 20. It will take a bit of time. So what we're going to do is fast forward it. It'll go very fast. Me killing them all and then we can continue the storyline. So without further ado, here comes some fast killing. Here we go. I stopped the speed process here because I wanted to show you what it what happens when you cross the border so now I cross there's an exclamation point there's lightning that's striking the ship and he even said I entered outlaw waters and damaged my ship so that was pretty fast and I wasn't across the border very long so just wanted to give you a heads up to uh, stay away from the other side of the border it's a quick way to destroy your ship so now without further ado we're at 17 out of 30 let's go ahead and speed that up so we can get to 30 here we go so we are just about done we have one more left to go we're gonna pick on this guy and uh, show you that uh, great 
ocean skills I have with killing a pirate. See, you just swerve right in front of them and dead. However, big dependence on your cannons being pretty strong. So without further ado, let's go ahead and tap on uh, the storyline and keep it going. And congratulations, we now have the blueprint. So what we're going to do now, as he even says it, <laughs> doesn't matter which port, just go to a dock. <laughs> just dock the ship. And we also uh, unlocked a uh, power, is that power quest? So we'll, oh, hey, nice. We uh, did a weekly task to feed 150 in the Great Ocean. Nice. And so what I'm going to do now is uh, we're heading to a dock so we can upgrade the ship and uh don't want you to sit through having to sail all the way back to a dock so we're going to speed that up as well and here we go so i realized that uh, that was path to power that uh, i saw unlocking story quest 4 and once we build the ship it's going to unlock the rest of the stuff but uh, i haven't been in here in so long so that's what that was and now let's speed on our way to the dock. So here we go. So now that we're here, we're just gonna get inside and keep the storyline going. And once we're inside, we're going over to uh, Lindby. And at this point, uh, I apologize for the crudity of this. It wasn't very really smooth. I wanted to uh, find out where the heck I was and I'm searching I should have just looked <laughs> I should have just looked at uh, yeah there we are Lima Island so I thought we were on a main port but we just went to the nearest island which is fine so also uh, upgrading the ship that's why we're here so we're gonna just go ahead and get that started here is where we're at it's uh, tier four and you see the exclamation point on the uh, arrow to the right and there's the tier five ship and once again it requires the blueprint the top quality ship parts and the softwood and we know we have it all so let's upgrade And the reason why I'm leaving it on this screen is so you can see the details and the difference. Uh, things did unlock in the Path to Power. And I even gained a new title. See, <laughs> everything's just popping off now. As you can see, the attack uh, changed from, from the left to the right side. And if you want to pause it just to see for your dif differences, what to expect, be my guest. So at this point, I'm going to do some cleanup work, which is uh, getting rid of the old cannons, the yellow ones, because we're now dealing with orange cannons and hull. And that's what this whole thing is doing, is just getting everything uh, organized and uh, set up. So I'm sorry this is going to drag out a little bit. I was trying to find my way and how to best do this. I knew that I needed the uh, black spirit to uh, eat all of the yellow so I can get material. So let's go ahead and at least uh, complete this. There we go, very nice. I don't know why the Black Spirit is using the term cannon so much. <laughs> I guess we're done cannoning. <laughs> I t it must be a sense of humor for the guy. 
So before we enter the Jersey, we want to make sure the ship is ready to go. So I'm going to hit the Black Spirit and we're just going to melt. That's my term. Oh, but first, yeah, let's go to Sh Shakatu and use the Aquila coins we have been saving, which is 12 million. I thought I was going to be awesome and uh, do a uh, 10 of them. So I think it's pronounced Ber Berater Cannon and uh, Berater Iron Bow Frame. So let's uh, tap on it. And a no. I needed about 30 million <laughs> Aquila coins. I wasn't even close. So let's just go ahead and buy one of each. And yes, I do know that I'm going to get one of these uh, from the storyline. But I knew that Shakatu always offers you the best stuff at uh, up to 20 chances to upgrade and we got that for the uh, bow frame not for the guns but that's okay 19 is still good and I wanted to show you the big difference is uh, 500 500 for the uh, yellow cannon and 1045 for the orange yes we're going to get rid of all the yellow it just is useless to put yellow cannons on a tier 5 ship people will laugh at you so getting more resources unchecking what we just got there we go and while we're at it let's clean up some of this and they're done Okay, so now that we have it, we're going to fittings and we're going to enhance it. Uh, oh, we gotta unequip the uh, two things that are actually there. Let's go ahead and knock that out. Just unequip. There we go. All right, deal with it later. So now we can auto enhance this. And that's what we're gonna do. We have the materials, definitely. So, hoping to get the highest we possibly can. And this is gonna be something that we work on. You and me and everyone else who has a tier five ship, we're gonna be getting more cannons from Shaka 2 and trying to get that number as high as humanly possible so we can definitely kick some butt out there in PvP as well as the monsters of your sea. And now you can see the difference. 705 for the yellow and 1150 for the orange. I think so. So orange is equipped and now it is the hull's turn. So let's go ahead and cheer on the hull. We have 20 tries. Now, if you do get uh, items from uh, quests, it may not have 20 tries to it. So, no guarantee, but we know that Shaka 2 always gives us the highest amount of turns possible. So, that's why I'm doing this. Hey, all right. Woo, right at the end. Plus 12. Well, that's going to be a good sturdy ship, won't it? Nice. And the difference is, uh, there we go, let's go back, 645 for the yellow, and 1291 for the orange. Double, more than double, definitely. So at last, we now have our ship ready to go. Oh, no, I am missing something. It's something I saw, that was the set sailors. We earned one more crew position, and we also want to load up our cannons so that we're ready. So let's go ahead and see if we can't add one more sailor. Uh, auto placement and denied. Ah, forgive me, guys. I got to go into my camp and see if one person is available. I have them mining so that I can get uh, enhance my crystals. I just always 
trying to mine resources. And uh, there we go. Let's just go ahead and have them all come back home. And now we can get out, go back, set the auto placement. It really doesn't matter. There's no guy that you have that has super sailing skills. If I'm wrong, I apologize, but I haven't noticed anything thus far. So now we're set. Finally set. So let's go ahead and leave the port and continue the storyline. There's a little quick glimpse of the ship. Just uh, turn them around. <laughs> or turn it around. So now that we're out here, we want to uh, just tap on the complete uh, craft a level 5 ship. Nice. And we're going to be returning to Path of Power. And it unlocked the Aferia Caravel ship. Look at that. 3 million Aquila coins. That is enough to get a new gun or a new ship hull. For sure. Now, I am noticing uh, the... Uh, glowing eventide we're gonna get to that uh, there's a decision I made there but for now let's go ahead and tap on enter the jersey excuse me the URC and uh, see where it takes us and as always I am NOT gonna have you sit through a long sailing ride we're gonna give this ship some turbo here we go So we're just about there here we are and let's go ahead and tap on to your C and continue the storyline and so here's the point where in my editing and original recording I noticed that it locked up and it didn't do that when I was filming it so I owe you a big apology but from here we end up going to uh, the rest of the storyline where it's the island you learn how to fish well you learn about the fishing there and uh, we turn in the eventide uh, bottle and learn about being on the island and going for the uh, gold fish icon to get a red fish so all of that is here in sound but not in video and I so apologize it's embarrassing I can't go back and do it again um, I'll probably put it in another video uh, to show what it looks like but uh, as far as the storyline and finishing the storyline, uh, this, uh, this is what I get. So uh, I, once again, sincerely apologize. I'll go ahead and just close out the video with my outro and say thank you. Thank you very much for enjoying this video. I'm going to go ahead and put some um, uh, bookmarks into it so you can zip to where you want. I think the last bookmark is going to be the apology. <laughs> so if you like my videos, please subscribe, like, let people know. I'm always making more and there is more to do. So without further ado, thank you once again and you have a great day. Take care. Bye now.